is Katie, and I'm going to be answering some questions about what it's like to be an architect. Architects are responsible for designing spaces, indoor as well as outdoor. The part that everyone thinks about is that we make a building look pretty. While that is a very important part, we also work with a client to understand what kind of space they want to build while working with all of the other people helping to design and build the building. This includes the interior designers, civil engineers, structural engineers, electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, and plumbing engineers, as well as the entire construction team. A large part of an architect's job is to coordinate with the other people on the team to make sure that everything that is needed for the building will fit in the space that we've designed. I love to solve problems and I love puzzles. Architecture can be a very complicated puzzle, but every new project is a new problem to solve. There's always at least one correct answer, and my job is to find the best answer for the client. My favorite part is after months or years of hard work, the building is finally completed. You get to see how happy the owners or the community are with the final product. My family got our first computer when I was six years old. It came with some games, and one of them was a 3D home builder. While it wasn't technically a game, I played with it for hours. I designed so many dream homes, my parents were tired of looking at them. Shortly after that, we had a career day at school and I learned that architects design houses and buildings, which is what I have been doing. I decided then that that was what I wanted to be when I grew up. I love Legos. When my brother and I were kids, he always got Legos for birthdays and Christmases, but he never let me play with them. Instead, he gave me his own Duplos that he wasn't using anymore. I don't know why I didn't ask for my own Legos, but I used his Duplos and built a fantastic house for my Barbies. Now that I'm an adult, I buy my own Legos. Every day can be different, depending on what kinds of projects I'm working on and what phase those projects are in. Some weeks I'll spend all day in the office drawing and detailing, sometimes I'll have meetings with clients or consultants, and sometimes I get to go to construction sites to observe that the construction team is following our documents. Every state is a little different in what they require for you to become a licensed architect, but most states require a degree from an accredited program, either a professional degree, which is typically five years, or a master's degree, which is typically six years. Beyond schooling, there are a certain number of hours of training where you work and learn more day-to-day -day of being an architect from an architect, and then there's a series of tests you have to take. Yes. There are a lot of different types of architects. Other than the obvious differences between landscape and building architects, there are several different types of building architects as well. Some designers focus on the early phases of the project, working with a client to decide on the program and size of the building. Some focus on the interior of the building, selecting floor and wall finishes. And some focus on the exterior of the building, deciding whether a building should have brick or metal panels and how much glazing the building should have. There are also some architects who focus on the project during construction and spend time at a job site or just answering questions that the contractors may have. Stick with it. Like me, a lot of people I knew in college weren't able to get a job in architecture right after graduating because there weren't very many jobs in the design industry. It was not an easy role, but one day, after a lot of hard work, you'll look up and realize you're exactly where you want to be. I did not take a very straight path to a job in architecture. I graduated at a very hard time when there were not a lot of jobs for the design industry. I had several summer internships, but no real experience. My first job out of college, I worked in merchandise presentation at a large retailer for a few years. Then I worked as the only designer at a structural engineering firm. Finally, I decided I had to move out of state so that I could start working at an architecture firm. It was a little terrifying to leave home, but it turned out to be a great decision. Fortunately, there are still jobs. The economy is still doing fairly well, and while there is a lot of uncertainty, I believe firms are still hiring because there is still work to be done. Be persistent, be patient, and be flexible. I think that's all pretty good advice for everyone right now. <laughs>